How's it going, everyone? I'm Taki Manor, and welcome back to another episode of Persona 5. In the last episode, we met Yosuke. I mean, Yosuke McCree. I mean, Yusuke. And we're gonna head back in, and we're gonna see the exhibit, if I believe correctly. If I can go to bed. Let's head to bed, and let's get on the story. Hopefully, we get to see the next palace. And it's raining and it's pouring. I'm gonna go. I gotta mute my phone real quick. Want well, to make sure you mute your phone before you do a recording, everyone. You sound so disappointed. When you left us those tickets. Make sure that you don't get in the way of the other visitors. Is that chopping in the background? <laughs> I'll show you around. That's in the other room. I'd like to speak more about the picture I'd like to draw too. That's in the freaking other room, Dolly. It's misery. I don't care. I'm kidding. No one cares. I've told everyone a million times that Your first name is Dolly, and that's the first thing I think of when I let her know. Let's learn about Madarame. And yes, I think that was chopping or mashing your food. Can't remember. Which way are we supposed to start? What? It's that old man from the other day. We continue what misery? Truly surprised by your imagination. Oh, you my elbow bleeding. It smells like metal. Why is your elbow bleeding? Oh, the scab fell off from when I fell on the thing before. Smooth. Well, it is rather difficult to put into words. They naturally well up from and, uh, my heart. Like bubbles. I, I, I was just saying out loud. Why did you film the talk? Oh, that's right, because there's iron. What's important is to I thought you said Brandon would catch you. Desires, such as money uh huh? Fame. My atelier is a modest shack. What? But it is Nothing. More than enough to pursue true beauty. A shack? Did I just hear a hint of jealousy? So the act of emptying one's mind gives rise to inner beauty. Still, to think we could hear the word shack coming from the great yeah, artist Matarame. You would understand if you saw it. <laughs> Wasn't the word shack something? Matarame san is actually here? Over there. I'm so glad I came on opening day. Hey, okay, stop pushing. Ugh, there's way too many people. I'm getting crushed. You can't Anyways, why you didn't talk before the assembly. Exit. Don't die on us, all right? I didn't know there were so many types of Japanese art. Usually one concentrates on their own style. However, God. since he creates Brady all this you know by that. himself, he's special. There you are, Yusuke. Sensei. Ah, the girl from yesterday. Are you enjoying the exhibit? I don't know how to put it into words, but it's really amazing. You're sensing something from the artwork. I need to get jealous. That alone is enough to give us artists satisfaction. I hope this becomes a wonderful piece, Yusuke. Well then, if you'll excuse me. You'd imagine artists would be difficult to approach. But he seems really friendly. Indeed. Oh, this is it! The painting I wanted to see in person. This one? I guess it's the painter's anger? I'm not sure, but I sense this strong frustration from it. To think such a cheerful and gentlemanly person could make such a piece. <clears throat> Something wrong? Don't mind me. 
There are better pieces than this one. Come now, this way. H hey! Ah, that old lady totally elbowed me. Thanks to that, I remember now. About what? Well, let me get to it. It's about a post online. <clears throat> Here, look at this. Why'd you leave without me? You got it all wrong. We got dragged into this huge crowd and... Eh, anyways, you gotta look at this too. This post might be about Madarame. What's it say? A master of the Japanese arts is plagiarizing his pupil's work. Only his public face is shown on TV. Plagiarizing? I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but hearing Shaq and Madarame triggered it. His treatment of the pupils who live with him is awful. He teaches nothing and bosses them around. He treats them inhumanely, as if disciplining a dog. Abuse on top of plagiarism, hmm? Huh? If this is real, it'll be a huge scandal. I wonder if Kitagawa-kun posted this. I mean, he is a pupil of his. Who knows? It's anonymous and all. In that case, it's possible the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is referring to the same one. A man like that doing such a thing? I wonder if we can ask that shadow from earlier about this. Oh, actually, we just need to talk to him in reality. And how are we gonna go about that? Are we gonna explain it all, starting with Mementos? Besides, if we make a move out in the open, there's the possibility that Madarame will find out. Oh, yeah, right. Hey, what do you think about Madarame? Doesn't he seem suspicious? He does. I know, right? This all fits way too well to just be a coincidence. If this post is legit, ain't this the kind of target we've been waiting for? Well, yeah, but is it really true? By the way, what did you do about the whole modeling thing? Kitagawa-kun gave me his contact info, and the address to his sensei's atelier. He said he lives there, right? Perfect timing! Let's try going tomorrow. We're off to Madarame's house right after school. Huh? You want me to model tomorrow? This is too sudden! What? We're just gonna go talk to Kitagawa. Oh, that's what you meant. <laughs> okay. In any case, we need to find out that rumor about Madarame is true. If it is, this might just be exactly what we needed. Hey, Dad. What's up? I'm watching this, uh, this Hinata spouse special event and it is so cute. Alright. Hi, just me and Kiki and Hinata. Let's call it a day and go to bed. Okay. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yeah. The great artist Madarame is holding exhibit exhibition in Shibuya right now, isn't he? I've gone to see his works a number of times. Goodness, are they magnificent! The moment I saw them, I knew he was something else. By the way, you seem far removed from the arts, Kunimiya-kun. Here's a question. Do you know who created the highest piece that was sold for the highest price back in the 20th century? I think it was Van Gogh? That was the answer? Yeah, Van Gogh. That's correct. It seems you know a thing or two after all. That piece was purchased for the equivalent of 18 billion yen and sold for even more later. However, since the turn of the 21st century, a new record has been set practically every year. Nice going. People put a serious amount of passion and money into art. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't mind having a painting or two of myself. Hey, hey. Seems like I can make it blah blah blah.
Oh, it's about a Phantom C is going by train. This ain't any different from how I get home from school, you know. The train is the fastest way to go. Plus, we can bring pets on here. No. Hey, who are you calling a pet? Dude, be quiet. We need to pay the pet, pet fare. I'm the one guiding you to your destination. You should be calling me master. Hey. Ooh, kitty. Uh, shoot. Is that your pet, mister? I heard him meowing. It's a stuffed animal. Yeah, it's just a toy. It meows when you press on his head. Hey. You heard it, Akiran. Press on his head. This is ridiculous. Wowie, again, again. Time to button mash. Button mash. Button mash. <laughs> what was that? Going on? <laughs> That's so funny. I won't hear it again. I just threw it in my mouth. Seriously? <laughs> Next stop is Shibuya. Shibuya. Doors will open on the left side. Oh, this is our stop. Well, see you later. Bye bye. Mm-hmm. Bye bye. Okay. okay. And that was the day the fantasies were almost found out by a little girl. Yeah. So which line do we gotta transfer to? Don't look like there are any stations closer to by that to that address. If anything, this is the closest station. For real? What? Then we gotta walk the rest of the way? What kind of fantasies takes the train and then walks to the destination? Stop your complaining. It's supposedly a shack, but this is this is the neighborhood he lives in. As expected of a famous artist. Okay, looks like the fastest route is to get to train Station Square and then go to Central Street. Let's move on. Wrong way. Uh, I see this is also still the wrong way. Yeah, wrong way. I am completely stupid and I have no idea where to go. Completely stupid. Sorry. Two Central Street. You sure it's this way? I don't remember seeing a house. Uh, it's supposed to be in the residential area past Central Street. We'll just have to walk a bit. We'll have to walk a bit, though. Okay, let's get going. Suguru Kamashita, former Olympian, teacher at Shujin Academy. Reason for turning himself in is uh, a heavy conscience, huh? The human mind doesn't change that easily. Let alone their natural temperament. <sighs> Shujin Academy. Seems doubtful. Perhaps I'll Sorry, have to look into it. Just in case. Is that it? We're at the right address. The door plate does say Matarame. Uh, you ring the bell. Me? The walls won't collapse when I do, will they? No one sneeze or we'll blow this house down, okay? Who is it? Sensei is currently. Um, it's Takamaki. I'll be right out. People really do live here. Takamakis. You two are here as well? Hey, sorry, but uh, we ain't here to talk about the modeling thing. There's something we gotta ask you. Is it true Matarame's plagiarizing stuff? He's abusing people too, yeah? Are you serious? We read about it online. This? <laughs> <laughs> Preposterous! Not only is the plagiarism impossible, but abuse? If he hated children so much to harm them, he would never allow pupils into his home. And I'm the one residing here and studying under him. I'm saying it's not true, so it's beyond doubt. You might be lying about it. That... that is utter rubbish. 
I had no family when Sensei took me in and raised me into what you see now. If you continue to ridicule the man I owe my life to, you will rue this day! You really think that? Yusuke, what's the matter? I heard you yelling. These people are slandering you with baseless rumors. Forgive them, Yusuke. They must have heard some bad rumors and came in worry for their friend's safety. <sighs> Understood, Sensei. Well, even I doubt that a cranky old man like myself could be liked by everyone. That's not what we meant. I'm sorry to have butt in on your conversation. However, I do have neighbors around. Won't you please keep it down? Now, if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> that was discourteous of me. I'm sorry. I know. I think you'll be able to believe in Sensei if you saw that painting. It's his maiden work, as well as his most representative piece. It's titled Sayuri. I love how everyone in Japan Sayuri? has like an android. This was the painting that inspired me to become an artist. It's so beautiful. I don't know all this fine art stuff, but even I can tell that this is impressive. When I first saw you, I felt the same powerful emotion as when I saw this painting. Me? I wish to pursue beauty like this. And I believe drawing you will be part of that pursuit. I implore you, seriously consider my offer. I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that we can discuss this further another time. If you'll excuse me then. Those two seem like nice guys, don't they? Maybe the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. Man, right when we thought we found a new target, too. How's the MetaNav? Oh, no. Hey, the app. Was it picking up our conversation? This display. It means that Madarame has a palace, too, right? But why? Madarame, plagiarism, and then Shaq, huh? These seem to be the keywords. For real, though, what the hell's going on? Does an old man like him really have a palace? We have the person's name and the location. All that's left is the what that Madarame mistakes the shack for to enter his palace. You mean, like how Kamoshida thought the school was his castle? That's right. Let's try saying some things. They can be random guesses. It's a bit sudden, though. Why don't we start with castle? No candidates found. Then what about prison? No candidates found. Ah, what a pain! Jail, a warehouse, and guidance counseling office. Might as well add farm. No candidates found. Not a single hit. Should we come back another time? A building that's related to artists. If we think from there, what would it be? A museum. Forgetting navigation? Whoa, really? Hey, when did you activate the med the nav? You surprised me. Didn't have much of a choice. I seem we just having to get it right. What if I hadn't noticed and then wandered off and got got caught by an enemy? Come on. You probably would have figured it out once you started walking on two legs. Grr. Hey. So even you can slip into the metaverse without realizing it, Morgana? Yep, in a place with minimal cognitive distortion, the difference can be subtle. Forget that. Look! That shack is seriously some kind of museum? Hey. Let's go check it out! I was wondering, was there any voices before? No. It's so extravagant. To the point that it's gaudy. 
It's a museum, right? This is Matarame's? A palace is a scenery driven by desires. Just like how Kamoshida's palace was a castle. Matarame's artwork is on display at museums in reality too, though. This exhibit was popular, and people already respect him. Why would he fantasize about a museum? You got a point. It ain't related to plagiarism or abuse either. Let's try looking around. Racking our brains here won't do us any good. Right. That aside, ain't a museum a must for phantom thieves? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Now that's our Joker. I feel the same. But man, just look at that insane crowd. Well then, it's time we begin our infiltration. Uh, are we gonna have to wait in that gigantic line? Don't be stupid, we're not going in through the front door. But there's a high wall around the building. We'll just have to find our way up and over it then. In any case, let's get going. Yep. Is this really how he sees that rundown shack? It's overwhelmingly shiny. Not hitting me, it's not hitting not hitting me that this is that old guy's palace. That's why we're here, right? Come on, let's go check it out. It's somewhere. Oh sweet. One side mug. I think a side mug mug would be a lot better, so I guess. Is there a special item here? Sure, let's go. A pearl. Awesome. Anything up here? Yep. A bad sculpture. Why are you selling this? Hey! Oh, the skylight's open. I think we can get in here. It's a pretty far draw. Will we be able to get back out this way? <laughs> Don't worry. I have a rope. Alright, I'm our tool specialist after all. Where'd you keep that? So what's your call, Joker? Wanna head inside? Let's do this. It's quiet. Almost too quiet. Uh, hey, this... It's moving. Come on, we're in the palace. That ain't anything to be freaking out over. Hmm, the palace reflects the ruler's heart. You may want to check these paintings out. Hmm? Oh hey, there's some kind of explanation here. Let me see. Is someone's a name and age? What the hell? That can't be the title of the painting, right? Do you think it's the artist's name? Let's check the other paintings too. I think there might be something important about them. Onwards. So we just gotta ignore these guys. <laughs> They're not very important. Over here though. Hey. Hey, this doesn't make any sense. Madarami is famous for having a variety of art styles. All the portraits on display here look the same. This is way different from what was at the. Wait a sec. Ain't this that guy we saw in Mementos? You know, the one who was shit talking to Matarame? Natsuhiko Nakanohara. His name's written on the plaque. Dude, I don't get it. Why is there a painting of him in here? And more importantly, why is his name written under it? You're right, doesn't art usually have like the title of the piece or the artist's name? Hmm, that's quite the mystery. Alright, let's keep looking around for now. Oh, look at that one, sex of more. Huh? No way. Hey. Hey, is this a painting of that guy? It says Yusuke Kitagawa. There's no mistaking it. Huh? Huh? Wait a second. What do you see these paintings are? Monorama's pupils. Actually, they're very well painted. Well painted. Huh? That's what caught your attention? I guess you do have a point there. Come on. We're getting off topic. Who are these guys in the paintings? Patrons of the museum. No, it's Madarama's pupils. Madarama's pupils. I think you're right. What? For real? All of them? But it was only Yusuke when we went to his place before. 
This must include former pupils as well. Only one remains now. Taking into account what that Nakano Hara guy said earlier, seems are getting clearer. Hmm. Alright, let's keep investigating. We need something to further to confirm our deductions. Moving on. Uh, oh, never mind. There seems to be some kind of pamphlet here. Hmm? What's up? You find something? We sh we're here to investigate, so we should check everything that catches our attention. Well, first of all, this catches my attention. There's another one here with a that you need a lockpick for. Yes, we do know that. We have three lockpicks due to us <laughs> making lockpicks whenever we didn't have anything to do. No, oh, it's an arsenal. I don't think I really need it though, considering my items that I got. Yeah. I guess it'll come in handy later on. Mm. Is this a pamphlet? This is getting way too detailed for a freaking palace. Why do you bother making something like this? Oh, there's a museum guy here on here. Let's take it with us. Yeah, it might even show us the location of the treasure. Nice. That is a possibility. At the very least, there should be a good reference for the scale of this place. That's really not very good. Huh? But the map only shows half of the museum. I see. It says it's only one out of two. The two out of two has got to be around here somewhere, right? How just how big is this place? We can work that another time. Right now our objective is looking to Madarami's cognition. We may have to reconsider our plan depending on what we find. I mean, he's got a palace. Seems pretty fishy to me. Uh, well, first of all, I want to steal this, and then we'll go take a look at the plaque here. Since that door is shut, and it won't let us go there for a bit. Uh. Hmm. Look at this. The Infinite Spring. A conglomerate work of art that the great director Madarame created with his own funds. These individuals must offer their ideas to the director for the rest of their lives. Those who cannot do so have no worth living? Hey, this is most likely about the plagiarism, right? Damn it, what a phony geezer. In other words, his pupils are his property. He doesn't even qualify as an artist if this is true. He's stealing the ideas from talented students in exchange for securing their livelihood. I wondered about those portraits on display. They must all be his pupils through his cognition. This even says that they have no worth. Couldn't this be about the abuse? Madarame will keep them around as long as they're useful to him. But the moment they're not... He's treating them like slaves or tools! Why is Yusuke keeping quiet about this? He's got no reason to cover this up. He did say that he owes Madarame his life for being taken in. But still. When we were at the exhibit, I praised one of the pieces on display. But Kitagawa-kun acted strange. Maybe that piece was plagiarized too. What's the call? Ain't this enough to target Madarame? I'm still hesitant. Don't get cold feet. I'm sure we can manage this. Whoa, you're jumping the gun here. Joker's opinion is reasonable. We should confirm these facts with Yusuke once more. Confirm what, though? It means we should get solid evidence that such crimes actually took place. What a pain in the ass. Besides, there's too much we don't know about Madarame yet. Mm, you're right. I'll try contacting Kitagawa-kun. I might be able to get the truth out of him if I accept his modeling offer. Wait, you're gonna do that? You all better come with me, okay? I'm scared to go alone. The famous, renowned artist, huh? Wow, well, this might be tougher than Kamoshida. Well, we'll just prep ourselves until we get confirmation from Yusuke. This is our first mission as real Phantom Thieves. I have no idea what's happening in the background. No matter what. The reason why Yusuke is hiding the truth, huh? 
Would you really forgive someone unconditionally if you owe their life if you owe your life to them? I'm not so sure anymore. What are you bring this up for? According to Kagawa kun, Monorame isn't a problem. What do you mean? Something wrong? I mean, I know Monorame is a bad person, but still. Maybe I'm so hesitant because I actually ha I haven't actually met any of his victims. Yeah, I guess that part's totally different from what happened with Kamashita. This might be an extreme line of thinking. <coughs> but if an evil person isn't causing you trouble now, is there really a point in us stepping in? Well, you got a point. So we're gonna let Yusuke decide if Monterey is worth going after or not? <coughs> I don't know. If it were me, I'd never forgive that bastard. Let's see how Yusuke feels. Yeah, I guess we can talk some more after that. Okay, let's meet Shibuya after school tomorrow. Alright, that's all the time I have for this episode. I'm sorry that my episodes are getting shorter, but I do have some Overwatch to play with my buds. I had to help them out. And, but you will get a special upload next steps on the next highlights if you look in the description below. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video, and I'll catch you all next time. See ya!